If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Jossalu card to check out. Uh, with this card, he is a showdown player, so you kind of hope for the improvements in the future, right? This card is someone that you can make a lengthy player. Uh, do I personally feel like people are going to go in that direction? Probably not. Um, this, as a showdown card, is someone that you're most likely going to give an engine chemistry style to. And then with the hopes of an improvement in the future, he's well-rounded in the dribbling department as well as the pace department while working with decent passing. But the pace would be a little bit higher, and then you would also have better shooting capabilities. Now, you could also go in the direction of giving him something like a Hawk chemistry style, right? Because of the pace, shooting, and physicality boost, because this is a physical type striker, right? So if he is a physical type striker and he's working with Aerial Plus, giving him the extra physical capabilities to work with that Aerial Plus could be an ideal situation too. So it's really going to be dependent on how you see yourself using this card, right? From what I could see here, you can even go in the direction of a sniper potentially because of the physical boost as well as the shooting boost because it would still keep him at a lengthy, but then the base card stats for everywhere else would also be improved, right? So it's interesting, right? He's got power shot plus, first touch plus, aerial plus, a um, couple stuff, finesse shot, chip shot, power header, technical, rapid, press proven, and Trivella. So he does have the press proven, which could make it pretty decent to use on that engine chemistry style. What you kind of hope for is for base card stats in the physical department being improved, especially so that he can work with that aerial plus a little bit more. But remember, this card also has defensive stats, right? So technically speaking, if you wanted to use them as your attacking oriented center mid, you could, right? He doesn't have slide tackle, but he does have a little bit of interception. So if you wanted to use him in that sort of role, like I said, you could totally do that if you really wanted to, right? So um, it makes sense that they release these sort of cards, not like the cards that you would think like are super meta. But the thing is, is that you guys know the way that EA works is that if this card gets a showdown plus and then they drop an evolution for that showdown plus, it could be a pretty crazy physical type attacker, right? Maybe it's the second coming of DDA Drugba. Who knows, right? Um, but yeah, we'll see how he performs in game from base characteristics and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully he's a beast. Sorry, so to start off the clip, because um, I forgot to record, we have the first clip here with uh, Jossalu, right? So... Um, Nice little through ball to the side position. One little touch, opening up the space for us here. He does use manual goalkeeping, but uh, Joseph Lu ends up scoring for us there. Here's the lineup for the Pirates. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Sergio Ramos as centre back, and they'll play with a lone striker up front. Well, it's a great opportunity. Nice, we actually scored that. Good stuff, Joseph Lu. Good stuff, good stuff. Good shot, cancel. Good shot, cancel. We'll take it. Oh. Hold on. Oh. I think I'm to work with that dribbling for sure. Touch. Maybe I get the deflection? No, I'm lucky. Ness, there you go, good finish. Oh, Jossalu. Still good. Oh, hold on. No, get the touch. He did get the touch. Oh, nice try. Nice try, nice try. Ah. Uh. Base card stats for finishing being higher would be nice, but that's still a low percentage strike, to be fair. Oh, 
On side? Everybody's on side, that's good. Gotta pass it out there, there we go. Oh, you'll get that. No. Yeah, the passing, the the passing for the play style plus is is crazier than the shooting. I always tell you guys this. Don't get the ball there. See, it's that stuff, right? Like, if I do a, a near post cross, I can go for the the pass to lay the ball off into the guy in the middle, right? Oh, he committed like crazy there. Try to power strike, why not? Ah, I like it. Yeah, that's what I was looking for there. No. I had to wait for him to control it or else I would have I would have never scored that for sure. There you go. I just had to wait for the track back there. Let's go. See the aerial man. It's just for stuff like that. Like when you force situations, like you know he can get it, you know? Lay off, bang, bang, touch into him. Oh, or pass to the wrong person completely. Ah, uh, I try to like shield it off real quick. Oh. Oh, don't dribble too much with them. Just, yeah, just pass it as quick as possible there, my boy. I had to make another pass off there or something. I was trying to do it to him, but we'll take it with a Hanson too. Why not? Uh, if it registered it, I probably would have actually passed him there. Ah. Uh, don't work out. There you go. Use that physical. Uh, I'm going to get that first touch anyways. Sorry guys, I don't know the corner kick tactics or else I probably would get more headers with him, but I just don't know them. Ah, nice try. Didn't time it in time there. Oh. 
Okay, okay, okay. Shoot! Shoot again! Well, at least he didn't register a time finish there, EA. That would have been annoying. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at these things, bro. I'm so bad at these things. Oi! <laughs> oh, dude, what was that? Oh, man, imagine if you conceded a goal like that in a serious way, eh? I'd be funny, man. Sure. At last go to force animation of the goalie, we score that. Try it out anyways. Oh my goodness, that dribbling is so like... See if we get to score this. No! Oh, he misses that one. He's not playing, so I'm just going to try out stuff. Wara finish! I have to do the manual, I have to do the movement myself because this game's attacking AI is horrible. Okay guys, so final verdict on the Showdown Jossalu card. So again, can't really give a specific final verdict because sometimes EA drops some special sauce of these cards, sometimes they drop future evolutions, all that kind of stuff, right? So as of right now, Obvious needs a, needs a win, right? He just needs to, to win to make the card feel significantly better in game so that you get base card sets improved in multiple areas of it. Uh, for people that enjoy using the Aerial Plus, the, the heading play styles for the, the crosses to the far post and whatnot for the pass backs, he's obviously going to be really solid at doing those, right? Like even if it's just like his chest control to, to lay the ball off um, or stuff like that, he's definitely going to be pretty uh, interesting to work with. The attacking AI was not bad to work with whatsoever for him to get into those attacking areas. Like the way that he tracks back and stuff was perfectly fine. Uh, didn't really mind that too much, but it definitely feels like a card that 100% needs the upgrades. Like, there's nothing that I'm noticing right off the bat from, like, special things, right? But at the same time, you guys know when they released that Clark Showdown card um, that it just felt like a bronze card that was upgraded afterwards, and then they dropped those two uh, things for him where, like, the tie made him better, but then the evolution made him significantly better. That was the key thing, right? So with a card like this, what I would look into is more so whether or not on the engine chemistry style in my opinion, with a double upgrade, like I think he needs an evolution on top of the fact that you need an engine on him, right? Then it would be a really nice physical type striker, right? Because the play styles you would be able to utilize more because base card stats would be improved in multiple areas. Um, and then obviously for his play style in general, the aerial plus is the thing that you have to utilize the most when it comes to uh, getting into those goal scoring opportunities. But yeah, of course, the, the basic stuff like the dribbling, very rough to work with, but that was like to be seen with a six foot four height, tall and lean body type. But you know, maybe in the future, with those base card stats improved, it could be significantly better because he is working with the press proven. But as of right now, it's kind of hard to tell whether or not he actually has like a, a proper left stick, right? The first touch plus you guys can see in multiple situations that because of his body type and height, it, it, it compensates for the body type and height. But like he's obviously not going to be the type to, to do it on a consistent basis. So with a card like this, again, you have to look at it from a perspective of do you think EA is going to drop the special sauce on the card? Because that's what it really comes down to. And there's no way for me to specifically tell you guys that, right? So 
if you think they'll drop some special sauce in this card if he ends up getting the win and in my opinion he gets another evolution on top of that then obviously he'll be a a really solid physical type striker but the guys that enjoy using these types of cards honestly like the counter-attacking merchants like they'll just give him a hawk chemistry style and still be able to score with him like that's what's honestly going to happen um if they end up getting a card like this too right so that's the whole situation with him in my opinion but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys